Good morning, museum friends and families. It's Miss Teal from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum here in Escondido, California. Today, we're doing an art project that combines chemistry with art. We'll be learning what an acid in a base is and how light affects color. Chemistry is when you have chemicals react together and form something new. Chemicals can come from organic materials like petals from flowers or the shells of beetles, or it can come from synthetic things. Things that are only made in labs and combined together to make something new. Let's do that right now. For today's project, well, you have to find these things around the house to use. We're going to be using baking soda as our base. We're going to be using household white vinegar for our acid. We're going to be using white glue. You'll have to find a brush or some Q-tips perhaps to use today to apply your color with. A glue stick is really handy to have. I like to use these little egg crates I think they make wonderful watercolor pans. If your children don't like to draw but still want to paint, we'll have a printable template that you can download from online. We are going to be doing a watercolor today and seeing what happens when we combine a base with an acid. For our sun, we're going to draw a nice round circle again. I'm using a crayon. That's going to be my sun. And then I'm going to do two flowers. First, I'm going to draw a couple of circles. They don't have to be perfect. just like that. Then I'm going to give them two stems. Stems on flowers look a lot like lollipops that maybe wiggle a little bit. And then I'm going to put a couple of leaves. For our petals, I'm going to start right next to the stem and do half circles that go all the way around the center of my flower. See how I did that? So after you are done drawing in your artwork, you can use a glue stick or liquid glue to trace your flowers I'm going to use my white glue, and then I'm going to add the white glue, just like this, just following the outline of my artwork. So you're going to shake the baking soda all over it, and then just take off the excess. Now we can proceed with adding the color. I'm going to add a little bit of my yellow food dye right onto my sun. Can you hear that? Wow! I have a chemical reaction. I've introduced an acid to a base and now we have a gas. The hissing and the bubbling that's happening 
is when the two chemicals combine. I'm going to make a yellow sun and then I'm going to do something else. I'm going to add yellow right to the stems of my flowers. I'll show you why in just a second. I'm also going to put yellow on the leaves. Now are our leaves usually yellow? No, what color are they? They are green. Let's make green leaves in a stem. To do that, I want to take some blue and I'm just going to add it right to the yellow. Oh my goodness! Now we have green. Our eye takes the information that the two chemicals that are combined from the blue and the yellow ectides and our brain makes them into green. I'm going to take a little red and I am going to put that in the middle of my flower just like that. Well that's beautiful. But I think we want to try to make orange. I'm going to take a little yellow and drop it right into that fizzing red vinegar base and acid combination with the baking soda. And now I have the color orange. What other colors can we make? Let's start with blue. What beautiful blue flowers. Well, what other colors can we make? I like purple, don't you? I want to take a little bit of my red and I'm going to add it right to my blue. I had so much fun learning about what happens when you combine an acid, the vinegar, to the baking soda, the base, while at the same time we were making art together and learning about our primary colors and what happens when we combine them together too. What a great way to celebrate National Chemistry Week. I would love to see the amazing creations you make at home. You can share them with me on the museum's social media page. I promise that I will go on Facebook and check it out and comment. If you would like to try more of our fun at home activities, please visit our website online.sdcdm. Dot o -R -G. See you next time. Bye. Make lots of art.